Most of us know what it is like to live under some kind of pressure in our lives. Pressure that we sometimes bring upon ourselves. A pressure that is sometimes brought upon us. Pressure on the job. Pressure at school. Pressure at home. Pressure within us. Pressure all around us. Even pressure from those who are closest to us. And sometimes we feel the stress, don't we? We feel the anxiety of that pressure. We feel the subtle attempts of the enemy of our soul to influence us. We feel his obvious attempts to intimidate us. We feel the pressure that is brought upon us because we belong to the Lord. Pressure unlike any pressure that the world experiences. And as we come to Psalm 70, we find that the psalmist David was under great pressure from ungodly men. He was in a critical situation, but he did not seek help from those around him. Instead, he brought his urgent need for help to the Lord. The place that we are to bring our needs to. And so in verse 1 of Psalm 70, David says this. O Lord God, in my frailty, in my great necessity, be pleased to hasten, to deliver me, not sad in Hebrew. Snatch me away. Rescue me from those who have made themselves my enemies. Oh Lord, I cry out to you day and night. And I know this. You have never abandoned those who have put their trust in you. So I continue to look to you. My hope is in you alone. So Lord, be pleased to hasten to help me. For the pressure is almost too much for me to bear. Lord, let those who want to cover me in shame because I trust in you, let them be ashamed of their wickedness, the psalmist says in verse 2. Let them be humiliated. Hafer in Hebrew. Let them be covered in disgrace who seek to take my life away. Let those who relentlessly pursue me be turned back. Ahor in Hebrew. Let them go backwards in their confusion and not accomplish their wickedness. And let them be dishonored who take delight, who find pleasure in seeing me in my misery, in the misery of my hurt, reah in Hebrew, in the distress of my soul. Let them be driven back, who seek to turn others away from the truth. Let them be turned back because of their shameful behavior, the psalmist says in verse 3. 
those who say, aha, aha, those who bark out their cruel accusations and their abusive lies like wild dogs the way that they did to our Savior at the cross. So in verse 4, the psalmist says, Let the true worshipers of God, all who truly seek you, greatly rejoice. Let us be glad in you. For unlike those who do not belong to you, we have a reason to rejoice. We have your word in our heart. Your spirit lives within us. And we have Jesus, who is our Savior forever. And so the psalmist continues, Let those who dearly love your salvation, those who glory in your sacrifice, for us, say continually, tamid in Hebrew, let us say this at all times, in all circumstances, let God be magnified in us. Gadeh in Hebrew. Let him be lifted up let him be exalted because he is our strength in our weakness and he is worth more than all of the riches, all of the pleasures of this world. And so in verse 5, along with the psalmist, we say, Lord, we too are afflicted. Ani in Hebrew. We are oppressed. We are needy. We are being crushed by the pressures of this world every day. So Lord, make haste to come to us. Come to our rescue. For you are our God. You are our help and our deliverer, our refuge in the storm. Lord, do not delay. For we belong to you. And you have forgiven us of our sin. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. You've been listening to Bruce David Bell, pastor of Borean Bible Fellowship. If the Lord has ministered to you through this message and you would like more information, then visit us on the web at bbfva.org.